Kira. Nein, nein, nein. Kira, lasst du mir das jetzt machen? Nein, nein. Schon? Nein, nein. Ja. Nein, nein. Lass mir jetzt den, den Flug Ma. Bitte. Geh ein bisschen spüren. Komm. Kira. Geh ein bisschen spielen. Da drüben. So. Da bei den Büchern. Gerade? Ja. Geht schon. Ja. Yeah. So, um, the six string bass I started out accidentally. Um, uh, today's vlog is dedicated to the six string bass and um, how I play it and how I um, started out playing it. And basically, for me, it started, I borrowed it. I borrowed this exact bass years ago from my first bass teacher. I had it for like two months because I wanted to try it. And after two months, I was um, I was not sure whether to start really playing six string bass or not because it's it was a huge challenge. I I came from a, a f normal four string bass, and I realized if I want to play this instrument properly, I really have to change a lot, and especially the right hand technique. I was playing traditionally, I rested my thumb on the pickup and then I was playing and I quickly realized that this is not gonna work with um, a, a six string instrument at least not for me because when I rest my thumb here the low notes are alright but once you go once you go up higher to into a higher register and you play let's say on the C string all those strings would start to ring like they they start slowly to vibrate and the louder you play the 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 more noise they make and it's getting really in your way when you play and it sounds just horrible it fills everything up and um, so I realized I need to change something and by by knowing I need to change my technique to do this, I was already like looking how are other people playing, how do they, how do they manage to, to um, dampen those strings, and then there are uh, numerous ways, like for example John Patitucci, I think he dampens them with his thumb and um, with his, also with his, um, with those two fingers, something like that, and he would play with, with the with his index and middle finger. I tried it but um, for me it, it didn't work, it just didn't work. So I um, was lucky enough to take then a lesson with um, Heiko Jung, it's a, a brilliant bass player from Germany. He's playing with Panzerballett and Martin Grubinger and he has his he has his own project with his brother I believe like a jazz trio. and. Uh, brilliant bass player, really 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 good. And I took a lesson from him and he was working on um, uh, a new technique he was trying to um, to figure out. And this technique was playing with um, three fingers. And I was, I was already playing with three fingers um, from early on. I had my thumb up here and I was playing with um, three fingers. I don't know why I think one of my bass teachers showed me Billy Sheehan or something like that. At least I started um, playing with three fingers. And then um, Heiko showed me this his concept like what he had from Gary Willis, this straight straight wrist on, on the right arm so that you, you don't have this this tension here in your wrist so that when you have it straight your fingers are much much um, more comfortable. And I was experimenting he gave me some exercises. Um, something like. Something like that. Um, back then I had my strings lower and I had a ramp in there and everything. I, I changed from that. I went back to higher strings and like higher action and I removed that, uh, the ramp again. But um, then I was starting to practice like that, and with this, that's the concept why you you don't have the 
the thumb rested on a on a fixed point so it's just floating around and more like a classical guitar approach and then I discovered when I play that way um, the, the benefits of, our, of it are not only that my wrists is straight but also when I go into the high into the higher register of the bass when I play on the C string um, my palm here mutes the mutes the strings automatically those those strings um, wouldn't start to ring because I mute them here in the and so I realized that I get a much clearer sound with that and it it was a huge step for me to um, to decide to really change my technique because that I was playing um, live concerts with a cover band like this real long shows four hours five hours um, cover band top 40 stuff and I decided to change my technique from one day to the other I didn't do like I practice this and then I still play my old way I just went hardcore I said well this is the way I'm gonna play now and horrible for my band colleagues <laughs> because everything suffers from that when a technique is not is not where um, where it's supposed to be or where it was before your time suffers your sound suffers your your focus like you you um, one of a sudden get lost in forms that you were playing for um, for years already like really simple songs but you're so caught up and focused in this technique stuff um, because it, it felt so uncomfortable um, but that was the quickest way for me within like a month or so I started to get really already comfortable with this kind of with this kind of um, technique and I that was one of the one of the best decisions I've made playing the bass was changing the way I play with my right hand, the way I pluck with my right hand. Also, um, the sound changes a lot. For example, when you play, when you play, I play here, um, this, this uh, G note, and you play with the angle, more like so. Has a certain sound and compared to how I play I don't know I hope you can uh, you can pick that up over the camera this sound is more this sound is rounder not as defined also warmer I would say than this sound and um, but I play that way because it's more articulate it's more it's tighter you would say and I do I, I, I do have the, the, the um, ability to play that way if I want um, big fat low notes I would probably play that way but if I if I play um, up to a certain speed I don't want my notes to be um, fat and and huge. I want them to be tight and articulate. And that's like that's um, a huge a huge. This changing this te changing over to this technique was a huge step for me. Um, and. This, I did this only because I started to play six string because I became aware of of um, of um, the problems I got and this is why I love the six string bass so much because as soon as I pick it up I know it's it uh, um, I know immediately what I have to work on. <laughs> Um, 
hope you like it. It's, it's really interesting, the second you pick up a different instrument, um, your, your focus and everything changes. At least it's for me. When I, play, when I play six string, when I pick up the six string, I immediately go up there and play chords and melodies and those things and, and my mind totally goes to, to this side of, of bass and music. And when I pick up a short scale bass, with this kind of, with this kind of sound, it immediately puts me Tonight I'm playing a concert with Elto, um, he's a very 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 nice musician, very nice guy and he writes beautiful music. First I stop in the rehearsal room, go over some stuff, quick, like just listen through the songs again, we, we played the stuff only once before, it's a, a couple of weeks ago, and then I'm off to Rock House. It's a nice venue in Salzburg and I'm looking forward to the gig tonight. Um, I will be recording it so here is some footage of it.
Thank you.